with mortgage rates hovering around 7% and the housing market not being very strong influenced, the question is, is now a good time to sell my home or buy a home? And so what we wanna do is look at the data and see if there are any clear indicators that will tell us how we should approach the market. With that said, I am Sammy Fryer, licensed realtor in the state of South Carolina, and this is this week's housing market report for Florence, South Carolina for the week of April the 2nd, 2024. The first thing that we tend to look at is median list price. And what would jump out to you very quickly is this large spike. House prices are going up. Now we are beginning to move into our most active time of the year. So this is to be expected seasonally, but this is a dramatic spike over the last month in terms of median list price. Now this will be an interesting trend to keep our eye on. Like we talked about last week, whenever you couple it with properties with a price decrease. So remember if we price our homes high, if the homes around us are pricing high, then that's a positive and encouraging metric, especially for us as home sellers. But if all of the homes or a, a significant um, above average number of homes are having to incur a price decrease during the time of the listing, then it kind of washes out that data. And we have seen an increase over the last month to the tune of almost 10% above a normal number of 30% over the last month as well. So these are the two data points that are gonna be interesting to watch as we get into the hotter time of the year to see if these raised house prices are sustainable. The expectation is that we will see federal rate cuts in June, but whether that be the case or not, that would tell us that over the next three months for quarter two, we are anticipating to see some stability in terms of interest rates. And so even if they are at 7%, Sometimes it's not so much the rate itself that drives consumer decision-making, but the stability. Meaning that if I know that there's not going to be a dramatic decrease in this percentage, then there's no point in me holding out, especially if the right home becomes available uh, at the right time for me to make a move. Because I know that there's stability in the marketplace, if that makes sense. And that seems to be what a lot of different metrics that people have pointed out across the country seem to show about consumer decision-making. So the question is, not so much are rates going to drop in quarter two, but if they're going to remain stable, which most people believe that they are, then is that going to motivate buyers to go ahead and pull the trigger and make purchases because they know that this is essentially where we're at for at least the next three months and quite possibly maybe even beyond the further into quarter two that we get. And will that encourage also more sellers to come into the marketplace, which leads me to the next and final uh, key piece of data that I want us to look at tonight, which is inventory levels. And you see that we've been at all time lows going back to 2021 here in Florence, and then as interest rates began to increase, what was causing some of the low levels of inventory was the buyer's market. Well, I'm sorry, the seller's market here, but there was, there was a lot of buyers in the market is what I meant to say. So there was a lot of great activity going on in our local housing market in this time period here. And that sustained for a while until these interest rate increases, which started around here, and then we saw where buyers withdrew from the market and all of a sudden that inventory began to sit so that there was, there was an accumulation of inventory because the seller's market wasn't in an immediate response to the buyer withdrawal because of the interest rates, right? And so we see that here. Now there's a great increase in inventory. You can see this reflected here too, right? So the median days on market mimics the inventory. Okay, so do y'all see that from September? Well, just going through 2022, so the increase in interest rates, which, which uh, peaked in October, but we saw that that all started right here. Here's the response. That inventory begins to sit because buyers are withdrawing. Inventory is sitting longer. And we see that start, we see that reflected with the days on market. Around the same time, there was this dramatic increase in days on market. Okay, so you see that there? 
especially on the seven day look, and we see that spike. So those two almost go exactly hand in hand. That's the story that they're telling us. Buyers withdrew, homes sat and accumulated. Well, then we started to see less sellers in the market. If there's no buyers, there's no point in uh, listing a home for the listing to expire, which we saw we saw a good bit of. We saw, you know, obviously price decreases. And we see that spike as well. And so and so sellers withdraw. They say, well, you know, I want to get top dollar for my home and the market is not allowing for that. And this goes back to our, our market index because we've been, well, let's actually look at it on the, the line graph here. And remember that 30 is the mark is the um is the cutoff point for a neutral market that shifts over into a seller's market. And so we've been very close to a buyer's market for a while. It hasn't been anything like it was back here before the interest rates, right? When everything was really hot. Okay, so y'all seeing that? So what's the point? What is the story telling? The story is telling that now for a year and a half, this is the boat that we've been in. Excuse me, here we go. For a year and a half, this is the boat that we've been in, okay? Um, inventory spiked because there needed to be a response from the seller's market to the buyer's market withdrawal. That's we see the immediate withdrawal sustained over time. Not a lot of buyers in the market. And then the inventory starts to settle as um, sellers began to respond. And so it's a balancing effect. And so if nothing else, we know where we are now and we know where we are for quarter two, more or less. So the question is, yes, home prices are going up, but price decreases may also continually be going up to match that number, which basically washes the two out. The real question is, are we going to see more buyers enter back into the marketplace this year? And will that be coupled with more sellers also coming off the sidelines and listing their homes for sale? And right now, as of today, April the 2nd, 2024, looking at the most recent data, we see a slight increase in inventory. But our inventory numbers are actually about 5% lower than they were this time last year. I would say that seeing median list prices increasing this dramatically is encouraging. What's gonna tell the story is, are these listings going under contract? That's what we need to know. And so I think next week, we'll try to take a good look at just that. We'll try to see um, how much pending, how many pending contracts are out there contrasted with new listings in reference to these increase in median list prices. So a lot of these things that we're looking at, these are key points of data, key trends, key current analysis that you want to take into consideration whenever you're looking at appropriately pricing your home to sell it. Understanding what's going on in the market is going to help you not only set the correct list price, but it's also going to give you the right expectations as you enter into the market. And so if any of this interests you, then we do this show. This is released every Tuesday at seven o'clock on YouTube. Uh, subscribe to the channel so that you can be notified, you know, every time that these, these episodes and others that we do are released. We also do um, a, a variety of other things, real estate related in our state and beyond. And we also do touring our local market where we travel the PD area and look at some of the different features and amenities of what our local market has to offer. And so if you'd like to schedule an appointment to get a home valuation on your home and go through a listing presentation, if you're looking to get your home onto the market and get it sold this season in quarter two, my contact information is down in the description of this video. Again, my name is Sammy Fryer, licensed realtor in the state of South Carolina. All my contact information is down in the description. You can call or text me anytime or send me an email. I would be happy to get in touch with you and go ahead and start looking at where we can value your home, see where it's sitting in the market currently and get a good price listed on that home. Likewise, if you're looking to buy, reach out to me and we can set up a complimentary buyer's consultation. And I would look forward to seeing y'all next week and hopefully we'll have some more 
dramatic data that really can kind of give us an indication of where things are about to go as we move into the hottest season of the housing market. And with that being said, I look forward to seeing y'all next week. And in the meantime, y'all take care and we'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.